Right. Welcome back to another episode of my movie review series, episode 310. Now, now last week I said that, uh, last week I said I was going to enter that uh, old Temple of Doom. Here we are. Here we are, man. One of the big ones, one of the big franchises that I'm trying to cover throughout the entire year. Yeah, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, 1984. Yeah, starring Harrison Ford, Kate Capshaw, uh, Amrish Poop. Puri, um, Roshan Seth, Philip Stone, Ki Hui Kwan, short round. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, boy. Great, great, great stuff. I mean, automatically, this movie is a 5 out of 5. Automatically, you know, 5 out of 5, 10, 10 out of 10. Yes. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Mm. Yeah, this movie, you know, even though this is the second installment of the Indiana Jones series or trilogy, whatever you whatever whatever you prefer it as. I mean, a lot of people out there don't consider Kingdom of the Crystal Skull part of the whole thing. You know, they want to um, mark that from their memory, <laughs> which is understandable. But yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, but yeah, this movie is, is, even though it is a second installment, it's a prequel to Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's why I'm doing this first, because of um, um, continuity. So yeah, so yeah, this movie, yeah, it was, um, it was set in 1935, a year before Raiders. So, yeah, let's go. Yeah, man. Yeah, Indiana Jones, you know, he, uh... Yeah, he, uh... Yeah. You know... You know, arriving... After arriving in India, Indiana Jones is asked by desperate villagers to find a mystical stone and rescue their children from a thuggy cult practicing child slavery, black magic, and ritualistic human sacrifice in honor of the goddess Kali. It took a step away from him fighting Nazis to uh, fighting uh, a goddess, a goddess worshiper, a bunch of goddess worshippers. <laughs> but yeah, he, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he gets into it with the, uh, with this cat named uh, Molaram. <laughs> yeah, 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 Molar <laughs> Yeah, he gets into it with this cat named Molaram. Yeah, he's the, uh, he's the, uh, the thuggy priest who performs. Rites of human sacrifices. The Kalima Shatide. Yeah, you reach into your heart, reach into your chest, pull out your heart. Wow, his boys will drop you into the uh, fiery pit. And while your heart is still beating, you know you're still alive, but you're going into the fiery pit. And then. As you're burning up, your heart is on fire also, and it's and it's in a it's sitting in his hand. <laughs> yeah, it's on fire, but his fingers is okay though. So, yeah. yeah, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, this movie though, yeah, this movie, boy, I tell you, this movie was a trip, man. Very dark from the other Indiana Jones films. This movie was a trip though. But yeah, it was fun too. It was so much fun. Still to this day, this movie holds up so well. 
still to this day, it's so much fun just to watch it, just to watch them, just to watch them, the mine cart chase, <laughs> the mine cart chase, which looked like a goddamn roller coaster ride at Universal Studios. Now I'm sure that they did do that, you know. I'm sure that they did do that. It would make a lot of sense if they had done that. The Indiana Jones ride at Universal Studios, and you would do the minecart chase from the Temple of Doom. I'm, I'm pretty sure they would do that, but it's, it's in roller coaster form, though. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I've never been to Universal Studios. I've been to Florida, but I never made it to uh, Universal Studios. I, I, I've been to Florida, Florida two times, but it wasn't for fun. So, yeah, I've never been to Universal Studios, so I don't know. I don't know. But I tell you, watching the watching that whole watching that whole sequence play out, that sure seemed like fun, even though it was a lot of danger. <laughs> it was a lot of danger being uh being um, displayed there. But yeah. Yeah, this movie, yeah, it's a it's a action adventure film. Yeah, you do get you do get an explosion. Apparently, it's not from fire, but it's from water. You know, yeah, they flood the whole tunnels. Yeah, Molar Ram and his crew. Yeah, they flood the tunnels, trying to um, flush out Indy and uh, and Short Round and and Willie Scott. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, you know, with the um. Real cool visual effects that he won an Oscar for. Yeah, they, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they had, you know, the tunnel, an explosion of water through the tunnels. Yeah, so cool though, just to watch it though. This movie, this, this entire movie is so cool just to watch. 100% cool. And like I said, 10 out of 10 and a 5 out of 5, it is just that awesome. You know, thumb up everything, you know. Yeah, you give it a whole bunch of likes on <laughs> But yeah, I tell you, yeah, so good, so good, so damn good. Yeah, I tell you, yeah, the scene where they reach Bangkok Palace and they having dinner with the uh the uh Maraja and yeah, the Prime Minister, you know. And you know <laughs> Yeah, what a dinner it was. I mean, yeah, the first the first course to come out was Snake surprise. What's a surprise? Yeah, they cut it open. And these... Things, these are... I, have, I can't even describe what they were. But yeah, you know, these... These... You know, black squiggly things start coming out of them. And yeah, you know, yeah, one of, one of the uh, one of the guys eating, you know, he he uh, put both of them in his mouth, sucking them down, and yeah, and they're they're still alive. <laughs> yeah, Willie, yeah, Willie Scott, you know, she uh watching uh this whole thing. Literally, she watching this whole thing go down, and <laughs> yeah, she is just you know, looking so sick about it. <laughs> So yeah, snake surprise, and then they got these uh, giant beetles that you know open up the uh, open up the uh, the belly of it, the, the the abdomen of it, and they suck out the um, they suck out the innards of it. You know, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, damn. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Dessert. Yeah. Chewed monkey brain. Yeah. Took off the top of the monkey's head. Yeah, give me the spoon. Yeah, chilled monkey brain. So I guess it's like ice cream to them. You know? I mean, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, yeah, that's their way of eating. I mean, yeah, not the American way, you know? But yeah, hey, hey, I'm not knocking it, you know? It's just funny to watch, you know, watching um, Willie Scott, who is a uh, 100% a huge fish out of water. She's way out of her element in this whole thing. I mean, 
she is not the outdoors type, you know. <laughs> and yeah, seeing uh, seeing other cultures do their thing, yeah, it is just not normal to her. <laughs> but I tell you, go, I tell you though, man, this is, um, yeah, you know, even though even when she um ordered something simple like soup. You know, she, she thought she was going to get some real good soup. But yeah, but she took that spoon into it and eyeballs started to come up. Uh. <laughs> oh my God, man. <laughs> that shit is just not normal. Ugh, eyeball soup, beetle belly, snake surprise, chewed monkey brain. I mean, this is not just not, it's just not normal, you know. Yeah, will I eat it? No. No, <laughs> I know what I eat it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No, no, no. Especially if it's still alive. You know. <laughs> no. I have a bowl of fruit. That'll be it. <laughs> That'll be it for me. <laughs> oh, boy. A lot, a lot of great moments to come out this movie. Of course, the, uh, the, um, the room, the room where it starts to close on itself because short round, you know, he, uh, he, 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 uh, uh, I'm not gonna say accident prone, even though it looked like he was a little bit accident prone in that scene, you know, you know, you know, you know and he told him to stop, you know, just trying to get, send him against the wall. We, yeah, so unfortunately he's telling him against the wrong wall because the wall had a, a latch. You know, he, you know, you just push, and yeah, <laughs> you start to uh, everything, the, the whole ceiling, everything start to come down, and spikes start to come out the ceiling. Oh, boy. yeah, so yeah, Andy, yeah, he's calling for Willie. <laughs> Willie, we got trouble. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> there are two dead people down here. We're going to eat two dead people in here. Hurry. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, it's a long story, Willie. <laughs> Hurry up. You won't be able to hear it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, when she gets there, you know, first you got to trek through the, uh, the huge field of bugs. But yeah, when she gets there, <laughs> yeah. when she gets there, you know, yeah, you know, she got to look for the, uh, she gotta look for the latch, the uh, the handle to open the to open the door. So yeah, you know, you know, to her right, you know, she ain't wanna she ain't wanna reach over to her right because it's like a, a few of the bugs right in there in there. She had to get 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 right through. And yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Feel inside. <laughs> you feel inside <laughs> door now. Willie, we are going to die. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, she had to reach in. Yeah, the spice is coming down. It's coming down. It's crippling his hat. Yeah, she's reaching in. Yeah, she uh, she moves it. And everything, you know, everything raising back up. The ceiling raising back up. The spice is raising back up. The door is raising. Everything is back to normal. And she's freaking out because she got bugs all over her, you know. <laughs> yeah, so she bends over, she pushes in the, the latch again. Oh my god, here we go again. Yeah, yeah, short round. Yeah, he wasn't me, it was her. <laughs> yeah, you see the door coming down. Yeah, he said, Come on. So, yeah, they all, they both, yeah, India really, they go, they both go to the door. Indy loses, he loses his hat. Door's coming down. He reaches in, he grabs the hat. He, <laughs> he stretches the hat out of there. <laughs> yeah, door comes right down just in time. You know, I tell you, so many close calls. This movie is just 100% awesome all around. I love this movie. It is 100% nostalgia. I remember watching this movie on tape, like for the first time, and um, many years back, like many, many years back, you know, you know, this tape, he had three movies on it. He had Iron Eagle, he had American Ninja, the first American Ninja, and he had, well, he had the first Iron Eagle, the first American Ninja, and Temple of Doom. 
you know, my brother, he tried to um, record Raiders of the Lost Ark at the end of that one, but unfortunately it wasn't enough tape because it was a six-hour tape, you know, one of the three movies you saw on the six-hour tape on the EP setting. Y'all remember that, right? <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you. So, so, so many, so much stuff to uh, cover in this movie, man. And I don't want to get deeply into it. I mean, if you have not seen the movie, why the fuck you watch this review? But yeah, it's just so much, so much good stuff, man. Oh, adrenaline pumping. I'm having fun just talking about this. Imagine how much fun I had watching the movie. I mean, yeah, you know, real good fight scenes. You know, you know, you know, you know. Indiana Jones movie, you know, every time you throw a punch, you hear that, you know, you hear that sound, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, great, great stuff, man, I tell you, oh, the rope bridge scene, man, the rope bridge, you know, but India surrounded, you know, he cuts the bridge, it breaks away, yeah, the guys, they fly off. Yeah, he, Molaram, Willie, and Short Round, and a couple of the guys from Molaram's crew, you know, they're trying to climb back up, you know. But in the, yeah, he, he fight Molaram, you know. You know, yeah, he is just throwing shots at him. <laughs> you know, Molaram, he throw right, right back, you know. He go for Indy's chest, you know. Indy, come on! Come on! Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, he tried to he tried to rip Indy's heart out, you know. For Indy, he tried to force it back on him. Yeah, he's forcing it back on him. Give him another shot. <laughs> yeah, boy, I tell you, so much good stuff, man. So much good stuff. And Molaram archers, I tell you, these guys, they must be a, a reincarnation of stormtroopers or something, you know. Because these guys can't shoot for shit. No. You know, yeah, they got yeah, they got bow and arrows and they're just firing the arrows and not one of those arrows hit Indy. You know. <laughs> not one of them hit Indy, you know. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, what else can I uh pick out of this? I mean so much oh shit, the ambush. The ambush and um in the in these uh in these room at Bangkok Palace, the ambush in his room, yeah you know yeah he and uh he and Willie you know they got real got really well acquainted you know and yeah <laughs> yeah they both waiting for each other to come into each other's room and you know just have a way with each other you know <laughs> yeah she's in her room she's waiting she is staring at the door just waiting you know yeah and yeah he's Laying on the bed, and uh, he's waiting, he's waiting. Yeah, you know, they just realized that not one of them is uh, coming to their door. <laughs> yeah, Andy, yeah, yeah, she's not coming. I can't believe I'm not coming. Yeah, so yeah, he's about to get over there, but, you know, he get ambushed by an assassin. You know, he getting choked out. <laughs> Yeah, he tried to flip the guy over. The guy flipped him over, and he's still choking him out. <laughs> yeah, he, like, ah, ah. he tried to reach for the door. <laughs> he's, ah, he's just getting strangled, you know. Short round, you know. He wakes up. He see this whole thing, you know. You know, he get the whip, passes to Indy. Indy throws the whip around the guy's neck, and yeah, the guy. He trying to pull it, and he let go. He tossed the whip up to the fan, and yeah, the guy he pretty much hangs himself. <laughs> oh boy, so much good stuff to point out. I love this movie though. I love this movie. It's one of, my, I guess you could say, it's one of my favorite '80s movies. I mean, hell, you can't say it. You can't say it. It's one of my favorite '80s movies. You know. Favorite 80s movie that does not involve Stallone or Schwarzenegger. You know? <laughs> you know? But yeah, so much great stuff to come out this day. You know? 
Ah, uh, yeah. 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5. You know, Indy get the stones back. Or he get the, uh, you know, there were three stones, five stones in the beginning. And that and that was that was that was uh, Mulderbaum's plan to use the to use the uh, the children, yeah, use a, use, uh, use the children as slaves so they can uh, dig for the other two stones. But yeah, once India, uh, yeah, he retrieved. Yeah, he got he got the three stones, but you know, in the fight with uh, Mulderbaum, you know, two of those stones was lost down into the. Uh, the watery chasm where the alligators are infesting that, you know. Yeah, each time one of Motorola's boys fall right down there, you know, they get torn apart. Alligator just tearing these guys apart. And one alligator doing the gator roll in there. <laughs> yeah, the deadly gator roll, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, we end it. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, when he got the last stone. He got the last stone, mulled around, he falls. He falls right down into that chasm. And he get torn apart, you know, by the gator. And another gator roll, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I tell you, great stuff, man. Great, great, great stuff. All around. All around. This movie is just pure awesomeness. I just I can't put this movie over it even more than I am right now. Uh, yes. Temple of Doom, oh, impactful, solid, 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. That's my joyful review, Jack, and now I'm sticking to it. Oh, man, April, April, let's go. Five Saturdays, and this is one. So, yeah. Next week, next week, man. Next week, next week is uh, is next week is uh, I'm going back into the comic book world, the superhero field, man. Next week, in brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. But those who worship evil's might, beware my power, Green Lantern's light. Only this time, Ryan Reynolds is not in it. Now, this is the animated version. This, not version. This, this is the animated film. Yeah, not only I'm going back into the superhero field, but it's going to be animated as well. But yeah, that's next week, though. Check out this shit right here. Subscribe to me right here. I pretty much hit my nose a little bit. <laughs> but in the meantime, in between time, Jack, This fun show is all.